Hi, in this video I continue with GIMP 2.8 preferences, so let's go ahead to the edit menu and select the option. The next tab is window management. Now the first two options window manager hints and focus are used when you are not in a single window mode. Right now I am in a single window mode, so let's go to the window menu and select this option. And now we have the three windows here, the main image window, the window that holds the toolbox and the one that holds the dockable dialogs. First of all, these options may not work the same for everybody. It depends on your window manager and your system. The first option, normal window, this will make these two windows, the toolbox and the one that holds the dockable dialogs behave like normal window. You will see the options to minimize, restore or maximize and close. In the Unity window you see that these two I have the option only to close them. In some systems I think you have also the option to minimize them. Next one is keep above. This will make these two windows always above other windows that you open. The next option focus, activate the focused image. This is again only relevant when you are not in a single window mode. In a single window mode you know that different images open in tabs that appear above the canvas and in this mode here in multiple windows the new image will open in another window so when you click on that window you can activate also the focused image. I recommend keeping these both options to the defaults and I'm pretty sure most of you are working in a single window mode anyway so you don't have to concern yourself with this. Next one, window positions, save window positions on exit. For example, if I want to keep this arrangement of my windows, I'm going to leave the option checked. I'll close GIMP and then when I start it, the windows position will be the same. Sometimes you need to do it a couple of times before GIMP remembers the exact position of the windows. You also have the option to save window position now and to reset to the default values. So that's all for these window management options. In the next video I'm going to conclude my tutorials on preferences and after that I'm going to start covering the tools. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, subscribe, like it, leave me a comment and visit my channel for more tutorials. And that's it for now. Bye.